I'm Pasquale Antonio Pingue from uh, I'm a Chief Operating Officer of the NEST Laboratory. It's a nanoscience and nanotechnology lab of the Scuola Normale Superiore. Scuola Normale Superiore is a small university, high quality level, but it's quite small. And we, of course, are involved in nanoscience and nanotechnology. Our research activity is uh, required to, to manage nanomaterials. But at the end, we, we collaborate with the other institutions in order to, to make, make some risk assessment in nanomaterials. The basic idea was to use a control banding model and to add something new for the moment. That's uh, the fact that we are able to, to measure the exposure of the workers at the workplace. And this was nice because uh, at the end we obtained some very nice results regarding the different steps in nanomaterials fabrication and uh, grow uh, in our facility. And we are able to, to deeply understand what's happening during the fabrication process. Yeah, we are involved in particular in nanowires and graphene. And uh, I can say that uh, in our lab we, I mean, we produce a very small amount of these materials. So, for us, uh, the priority is to use the, in a proper way the, the um, collective protective equipment, equipment the, the personal protective equipment, and this is very important for our researchers. Of course, more in general, if you want to, to manage uh, the, the risk, you have to, to think in terms of, uh, if you want to introduce these materials in the, in the semiconductor industry, you have to, to use something new. And uh, I, 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 I think that uh, the worker exposure is very important, the measurement, the direct measurement on, on the semiconductor industry point of view, and also the communication with the stakeholders. It's crucial to have some uh, good communication, otherwise you have some warning, and uh, at the end the, you will have some stops on the production. In our lab, the production of these two kinds of materials is a very small amount, so the main point is that if you use a personal protective equipment and the collective protect, protective equipment in the proper way, we have no problem for our work. So we demonstrated in the project that this, uh, with this um, exposure or the uh, measurement, you can be sure that nothing is uh, critical from this point of view. But if you want to increase the amount of uh, nanomaterials, like graphene and nanowires, in particular nanowires because are fibers, in the semiconductor industry, probably you need to extend this kind of approach, so measuring the exposure of the worker in the workplace, and also you have to be more careful in the communication. You have to increase the communication with the stakeholders, you have to, to increase the, I mean, the, the, the relationship with the stakeholders in order to avoid any warnings on this side and avoiding any stop in your production. We had some experience in, from the past that say that, uh, and I have to say in other ways too, that say that to, before starting any industrial process, probably we have to think in terms of a life cycle assessment. And uh, I think, it, for example, to asbestos, or to uh, laptop, or to CRT screens, or uh, mobile phones, we have no idea how to manage the complete life cycle assessment. And of course, for nanomaterials, this is crucial. So I suppose we have to start to think in terms of uh, the, this assessment uh, for nanomaterials, also starting from, uh, I can say, um, an approach that is safety by design, um, in particular for consumers.